Jury selection begins today in the corruption trial of one of the most powerful African-American politicians in North Texas. Trial attorney Stephanie Luzola is here to talk about the complex case against Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price. Thank you so much for being here, first of all. Oh, thank uh, we you. keep saying this, this complex case, and the first question that comes to mind, why is this so complex? Because in my mind, they can either prove he accepted bribes from businesses and in exchange help them win county contracts, or, or he didn't do it. <laughs> well, it's complex for a lot of reasons. One reason is because uh, they're talking about over 10 years of, of wow. incidents, of events, and things that happened. Uh, mm -hmm. There's going to be hundreds, probably hundreds of witnesses. It's going to go on for four months. And the charges that are really interesting are the conspiracy for bribery charges okay. and also the uh, theft uh, deprivation of honest services. So these are the public corruption charges. Mm -hmm. And bribery is not all that clear to prove uh, okay. in, in the federal system. Okay, and why is that? Like, I know you, you had mentioned earlier when we were talking that there are two Supreme Court cases that really make it tough to prove like it, it has to be very direct. Like I gave you this money. If I give you this money, and you then you need to do this. Exactly. It's very cut. <laughs> I mean, first, I mean, the fact of the matter is that money is involved in our political system. True. And right. Just because you give money to a candidate or to a public official mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you've committed the first part of a. Doesn't mean that you've committed a bribe. Mm -hmm. So, like, if they've given money to my political campaign and then later on I approve a contract with them for whatever for the county or for the state or for the city, that's not what we're talking about no. here. But a bribe would be something like I'm going to give you this money and then you're going to make sure I win this contract. Exactly. It needs to be something that cut and dry. Exactly. If I give you money and you later rule in my favor, that's not a crime. Mm -hmm. If I give you money and then you do something that I wanted to, you to do, mm -hmm. that's not necessarily a crime either. Ah, okay. If I give you money and you do something in your official capacity based on what you specifically can do and we specifically negotiated that that would happen, then you've got a bribe. Mm, so you've got to have a paper trail of some sort or some way to prove that knowingly it was done. Seating a jury, I've heard, is going to, that's going to be hard in itself, just finding a jury. It is going to be hard. In the fall, uh, the uh, parties issued 20 page jury questionnaires to potential jurors who are going to be in the panel. 20 page? 20 I mean, page. Question, wow. Is that normal? No, that's very long. Okay, well. <laughs> but, John Wiley Price is a public official, basically a local celebrity, mm -hmm. and that makes this sort of a trial a, regarding a famous person. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be lots of people who in his 30-year career know him, have opinions of him, and have already are coming into the case with preconceived ideas. You're right, which is what you, mm -hmm. what you really don't want. Not only that, but it's also about politics. And people right. also come into juries with preconceived ideas about politics. Yeah, and this really, I mean, the largest public corruption case, I mean, ever in Dallas County for sure. Uh, and uh, definitely a powerful politician. And we're talking about, uh, you know, alleged conspiracy. Also, his uh, longtime assistant is being tried with him. And then his uh, political consultant tried, is going to be tried separately. If he's convicted, though, I mean, on any of these counts, because I think there's, what, like 11 criminal counts or something like that? Yes. Even if he's convicted just on one, he's going to prison. Uh, yes. Right. A and he could face life in prison. Uh, he, is that possible? Well, possibly. I mean, it depends on, on how how many counts he was convicted of and how okay. they stack. They'll all have a maximum punishment range and the range will be determined by what are called the federal sentencing guidelines okay. and that's essentially gui that's essentially punishment oh by numbers. Do you think he's going to take the stand? I don't know. The thing is, is that the prosecution is going to put their case on first mm -hmm. and the defense is going to put their case on second and so I think that he'll be prepared to take the stand and whether he needs to or not I think that's going to be a game time decision that they have to make wow. once the defense is uh, putting on their case. Okay we'll stay on top of this story. Stephanie thank you for your insight. We thank appreciate you. It.